Hey what's up guys, Prince Vitz here, I'm gonna welcome to my channel again, check this out, we have a very simple 2x2 bunker base design. And this is the inside here, check this out man, it's just a 2x2 two two, and it's designed for a 4 to 5 people. Alright and this here is the entry, now this is a bunker base, so uh, yeah it's another bunker base I know. But it's the OP uh, base in rust at the moment. And we also have some doors here. This is our entry post. We have a shotgun trap there on top. All right, let's get straight into the build. Now we're gonna start off with a two by one. Keep in mind, this is a modular base design. So you can build it in steps. So this is our little, you know, basic two by one. But right, I'm gonna remove the top here. This way you guys can see it better. Uh, make sure to place your TC on the right side and also put a, a lock on it, a key lock. Put a few boxes. And there you go, that's your two by one. This is your starting point. Now, you're three, four people, so you will get your farm very fast. And then we're gonna expand the base. And we're gonna make it into a two by two with a bunker entrance. Stone it up, it's just a few thousand, not that much. Now we're gonna place some doors here. Right after that, we're going to completely close this off. And there you go, you have a bunker base. And also make sure to put that bottom foundation. And also make the entrance ready. There you go. Now we're gonna start making our box uh, placement. And we're gonna start off with, uh, well, you've seen this before. It's just a simple triangle through the wall there. And then you can just place your boxes. It's very easy to do. This is a very simple base design. All right, there you go, man. Now we're gonna use some garage doors, so make sure to get them. And uh, this way, you know, that's more security and you have like the luxury of a big room. And just put your stuff you know, whatever you want to do inside, that's up to you, basically. Put your furnaces outside, outside of the 2x2. Two two. I like to put it in the entrance of the, of the bunker. And then we're going to sheet it up. Metal the, uh, the whole base. Except the doorways, you don't have to uh, make that metal. All right, now we're going to extend uh, the base even more, so we're going to expand. Uh, the entrance here so we're gonna make some more entrances and i am also gonna put a uh, a shop uh, front up front here just for the campers you know the, the door campers there you go and then just close it up All right, on the top, we're going to make a honeycomb, also sheet metal. And in the middle here, we're gonna, now this is for rocket splash damage. We wanna control the splash damage. So this way they won't blow away four uh, ceilings or floors. And now we're gonna do the sides. So we're gonna just honeycomb it.
And there you go, the base is already finished. It's a very simple base design. Now I've left the walls here in stone because I want to show you if you make the whole if you make the whole base in metal. These two parts you should make in high quality. You can do the whole thing high quality. But if you want to, you know, manage your resources and also make sure those two triangle foundations, they have to be armored no matter what. So whatever you do with your base, they have to be armored. And then, uh, yeah, you can just close it up when you go offline. Put your floor, make it high quality and, you know, you're safe. Now, if I were you, I would also place a box in that entrance and put some material in there just in case you do get online raided. You can go to the box, get the stuff and close it up. So this way you don't have to go to the boxes and like the TC. No, just a little box. Boom. And that's it. That's really it. All right, guys, for the next video, I have a good, good base design. Just the way you're used from me, a real Prince Vitz base design. This is a very cool one, so make sure to check it out.